Hey everyone, welcome to our lesson. Grade 12 physics, past paper questions, we are gonna carry on. Last lesson we have done question one. Today we are gonna carry on with question two, both of them from electric circuit. What's the difference between question one and two? Question one, there is no internal resistance, but now we have internal resistance and EMF. So before we start, please go to link and get questions and try yourself, please. And then if you try yourself, you get your answers and then you can come and see correct answers and you can correct your answers. Everything will be fine. So let's continue. Calculate the current for this question. They're asking you calculate the current. What is given? Let's see. EMF is 12 volts. It is given here. Internal resistance 0 0.2 ohms and resistance of the conducting wires can be ignored. All right. Calculate the current. Okay, that's our question. What we see on this question, what they ask and what method we can use quickly, let's explain. As you know, Ohm's law current equals, current equals voltage over resistance. We know that. So to calculate this current main conductor, as you see, it is just on main conductor, it is total current. Voltage, we can use EMF, 12 volts, it's okay, but we don't know resistance. Our total, we don't know. We know resistance, but total resistance, we don't know. To get total resistance, first step, we are just adding 15 ohms and eight ohms here. As you see, the current is just coming here and then sharing by different resistors. And we are adding 15 and eight ohms first, and then we are getting one resistor here. Maybe we can just draw like this. So these two making one resistance. As you see, they are parallel to each other. Now these two resistors making one, 23 ohms. Now, as you see, they are in parallel and you are calculating this parallel combination. After that, adding all two ohms and 0, 0,2 ohms. Now we can see our solution. Let's see, yes. Our parallel, you are calculating first 15 plus 8, eight first, as you see, one over nine plus one over 15 plus eight, and you are getting for parallel combination, 6,47 ohms. I hope it is okay so far. And then what is next? You are calculating our total. Our total equals 6,47. This is parallel combination plus two ohms plus 0, 0,2. So we are adding all. So this all together making one resistance here. Maybe we can just redraw here. All of them just making one. This is our parallel. So we have 6,47, 6,47. So now we can add them all to get total resistance. Total resistance you will get after that using Ohm's law current equals voltage over resistance, 12 over 6, so 8,67. And you are getting current 1,41A. As you know, unit of current is ampere. A, we are calculating. What is next one? Next question, let's see what they're asking. Next question. How will the reading on voltmeter be affected if the nine resistor, nine ohms resistor is removed. Okay, so you are gonna remove nine ohms resistor and replace with a conducting wire. Okay, let's answer this question now. So, all right. So we are gonna remove nine ohms resistor and replace with a conductor. So let's do that and let's see what's gonna happen. They're asking you what's gonna to happen to your volt voltage on this voltmeter. All right, so what was the, our total resistance? 8,67, right? It was 8, something, let's check. Yeah, 8,67, it was our total resistance. But if you remove nine ohms and replace with a conducting wire, just let's do like this, remove this one. So what's gonna happen now? your electrons, your current will use this way. So, and then there is no current on 15 ohms and eight ohms. So only resistors, resistance you have two ohms and 0, 0,2 ohms. So our total equals 2,2 ohms. 
And what's going to happen now? Your total resistance decreases, as you say. It was 8,67. Now change to 2,2. So you, and then we can say total voltage decreases and effective resistance, because effective resistance decreases, no current, 15 ohms, 8 ohms. And then current increases because if resistance decreases, current of course increases. And then I times R increases because R is constant, resistance increase. V lost, as you know, V lost equals, V lost is equal to I times R. So also increases, V external decreases because I times R, our total decreases. And then answer is decreases and all explanation here. But I want to change this question. Maybe next time they're going to ask you like that. Let's say question 2.3. We are just adding in this past paper, they didn't ask, but maybe next time they will ask like this. So let's ask, okay, what we are changing now. How will the reading on voltmeter be affected if nine ohms, let's write ohms resistor is removed, but you are not replacing with a conducting wire, what's gonna happen now? So this question we are changing like this. You are not replacing with a new conductor, just remove nine ohms. Just remove nine ohms, what's gonna happen? So that's our question now. So what is your new resistance, total resistance? So now affecting everything. All right, if you remove nine ohms and don't replace with conducting wire, what's gonna happen? Your total resistance is 15 plus eight plus two plus 0 0,2. As you see, now you are adding these two resistance. We should add, because last time they replaced with conducting wire, but in, we do all current on 15 ohms and eight ohms, zero. But now you have current on 15 ohms and eight ohms, and your total resistance, 10, 25,2. It was 8,67, now 25,2. What's gonna happen now, all change? Decreases will be increases. Effective resistance decreases will be increases. All will be opposite. Current decreases. As you see, just changing something and making new question. So you must be ready for this kind of questions. When you check past papers, last lesson also I told you, please just check how can we change this question? Just think like that. And maybe you can change question. You can make another question. And then you will see you are going to, and then you are going to be ready for new question and you are going to be ready for your exam. So we have done for today another with another question question two we have done. See you next lesson. I hope you are going to get good results. See you next lesson everyone.